So yeah, 1,765 is a number I'm pretty proud of. Uh, it's definitely a lot. It's been a little over a year now, but... Bye. 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 Hey guys, hope you all are doing well. My name is Vedant, welcome back to my channel. Today I just wanted to sit down and talk with you guys about how training's been and my past year of running, which has been, you know, it has its ups and downs. I think I've done some really great stuff this past year and I think there's also a lot of things that could have been better. I just wanted to talk to you guys about all of that. Some of the highlights I've had this year, obviously if you've seen the title, 1,765 miles is about how much I ran and cross-trained I combined this year. I think running a Alone, I've probably only run about 1,200 of those miles or maybe even less. So yeah, I've definitely cross-trained a good deal of miles this year and I'm planning to cross-train a good deal of miles the next upcoming years uh, just because that's how my training has kind of been recently. So yeah, 1,765 is a number I'm pretty proud of. Uh, it's definitely a lot. It's been a little over a year now, but I'm going to continue to try to keep that up. But yeah, it's been pretty successful with training. Fortunately, over this past year, I have not been able to do any speed work at all yet. Uh, I haven't gotten into any interval training because every time I tried to, uh, I somehow managed to get injured, which is really unfortunate and I have to find a way to kind of get back into things. So yeah, that is something that did not work out too well this year. I think one of my biggest highlights this year was probably during training when I ran a four mile tempo run and I ended up running a 20 minute 39 second four mile, which is really good for me, of course. And it's kind of funny because I'm looking at like my log sheets and the week before I ran like a 17 something 5k which was not good at all for me and that's kind of when I was coming back into training after my first time and then all of a sudden I'm running 509 pace for four miles and it feels like a breeze I remember my splits for that run were like 446 517 521 and then 517 again and I wasn't even that tired so that was probably one of the most impressive runs I've ever had yet and if you guys know the philosophy that I kind of believe in with running is a good run is not a fluke a good run happens because of the training you put into it I think that day the conditions were perfect but yeah I think that was definitely the highlight of my year during training as far as like the best run I've ever had goes. Obviously the downsides were probably all the injuries and uh, my lack of interval training uh, but that's all okay because I think I've learned from it but it was an experience I had to have and I'm moving on from it. I think one of my biggest learnings that I've had so far is that don't let running define who you are and I think for my personal brand I think running is a big part of it but I like to look past that I think there's more to me than just running uh, of course and I'm doing a lot of things outside of it as well so always just try to be you don't let running and your times define who you are although you know those can be great accomplishments so I guess if you were curious about how my training has been going I've actually uh, started summer training with the team now I would vlog it but I'm a little bit scared and it's not because like I'm scared of my teammates judging me I think they're really supportive of me uh, it's just uh, my coach he's a little scary if you met the man uh, you know why <laughs> he can be a little scary I think he knows about this which is kind of funny so if coach is watching this go comment down below Anyways, I'm not going to expose my entire system of training because obviously that's uh, personal to my coach and his program. I don't want to put that on blast to everyone, but I will say we do tempo runs. Uh, well, we call it something different, but I did like a two mile earlier this week and I ran an 11.09, which is not really an impressive time. I ran times a lot better than that, even in eighth grade. But you know, it's just me kind of getting back into shape and seeing where I'm at. So a starting point is a starting point And you know, I'm just happy I'm back on my feet. Every day I'm grateful that I can just go out and run. And then also I've done a mile repeat workout this week. I did three by one mile. The pace that I was trying to hit was of a 535, which is not fast at all, at least for me. And I ended up going a 528 pace for each mile. It wasn't a bad workout. Once again, yes, I'm just starting back into things and hopefully, you know, things get better over time. Definitely not disappointed in any of the workouts or results that I've had this past week. I think it's really awesome that I'm back to running again. I will say though, I have been having a little bit of aching in my foot, but I'm pretty sure that's just the recovery process as my doctor said you know sometimes it'll ache and you'll just kind of have to push through I'm hoping things stay controlled I know I'm not doing anything out of the ordinary so I don't really think stress fracture would come up again and I'm confident that you know I'll still be able to continue training staying healthy and all that so just really focusing on having a positive attitude uh, throughout training and I really want to accomplish some great things this year because there's definitely a lot of potential that I do have and I can kind of tell because I've come quite a long way without having any like interval training or anything like that so I think there's a lot of potential in the future so yeah that's kind of how my first week of workouts have been looking we have 149 days
days from today until our state meet. So, you know, kind of getting prepared for that. I hope I stay healthy during training, of course. I've been also really looking after my sleep recently. I've been sleeping from 9 to 10 p.m. That's really good for recovery. I strongly recommend it to you guys. I've even started waking up at 6 without an alarm, which is really nice because it's all natural and it makes me feel a little bit better even on my workout days. You know, it's all going great right now. Just gotta make sure nothing goes wrong with my feet and I think I'm looking for a good season this year. Doing a lot of things to recover. So yeah, that's kind of how it's looking guys. I know this is probably like a short video, but if you enjoyed, please like and subscribe. It really mean a lot to me guys. I'll see what I can do for the training videos guys, but we'll just have to see next week if I can do anything. So yeah, I guess that'll be it for this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.